what's happened at the nuclear power plant in Fukushima, Japan. There's been a lot of talk about the safety and value of nuclear plants here in the United States. There are 104 of them. Joining me now are Anna Aurelio and Patrick Moore. Anna, you're the director of the D.C. Office for Environment America. Tell me about these criticisms. Do you think they're valid? Are, is nuclear uh, electricity, nuclear-generated electricity, uh, a path we should be pursuing in the United States? Look, the events unfolding in Japan are a heartbreaking reminder of the dangers of nuclear power. And no, they're not worth the risk. All right, let's go to Patrick for a second. Patrick, you're the chair and chief scientist at Green Spirit Strategies. You're the co-founder and former leader of Greenpeace. I would guess that would mean uh, that you don't like nuclear power either, but you actually think that we should be pursuing this path. Absolutely. I've spent five years as co-chair of the Clean and Safe Energy Coalition in the United States working to build support for nuclear energy because it is one of the safest technologies we've ever invented. If you look at the situation in Japan objectively, it is a crisis. They almost have it under control now, and no one has been killed from radiation, just like in Three Mile Island, where no one was even injured. Right, I don't think, I don't think we actually know that nobody's, I mean, we don't know what's happened. I mean, Three Mile Island was 1979. We're, we're a week away from this thing. Anna, what's your biggest concern about this, price or safety? Our biggest concern is safety and safety of people. We're talking about strontium and cesium and plutonium. These are highly radioactive poisons that cause uh, acute problems in people when they're exposed at high levels and, and even in very small amounts can cause leukemia, lung cancer, tumors. What do you say, what do you say to Patrick's assertion though that we, we haven't had this kind of thing. We got 103, 104 plants in the US. They've been operating for 30, 40 years and most Americans can point to one incident. Well, you know, where I'm sitting right now, we're 45 miles away from the Calvert Cliffs nuclear power plant. We're not, we're not uh, secure that these plants are being adequately monitored and inspected. In fact, just yesterday, a scientific group released a report of 14 near misses at nuclear power plants in the U.S. just over the last year. Finally, we see the events in Japan, and we know that Mother Nature can be stronger than anything we can design, and the gravest threats are those that we can't foresee. So why take the risk? Why have these ticking time bombs in our neighborhoods? Patrick, what's your response to that? Well, the fact is that reactor withstood the earthquake and shut down in an orderly fashion, and it would have been otherwise smooth emergency shutdown if it wasn't for the 30-foot wall of water that overwhelmed the backup generators, which were the second... But that's line. kind of Anna's point, right? That it's, that, that's Mother Nature. Yes, that is Mother Nature, but again, 20,000 people appears to maybe 30,000 people have been killed by the tsunami, and the tsunami was what caused the problem at the reactor three you know indian point reactor and calvert cliffs reactors aren't going to get a tsunami and that's what went wrong here and the lesson to be learned here is if your reactor is near a place that might get a tsunami then you have to build the re the backup generators so they won't be flooded by it which is the, the the wild card that occurred here just the same they evacuated everybody no one is being exposed except for the workers in the plant to higher than normal levels of radiation, even the levels they are receiving are not life-threatening. They are within the limits that the authorities allow, and they're doing a heroic job to prevent something worse from happening. But so far, as with Three Mile Island, yep. this is a five out of seven, where Chernobyl was a seven, releasing large amounts. Gotta go, Patrick. Thanks very much. Uh, appreciate both of you coming here, Anna Aurelio and Dr. Patrick Moore.